Answers of an Alien from Andromeda, Video 116, May 7, 2014. In this encounter we will have some answers to questions of the majority curiosity. Mythy, a friend asks about the megalithic constructions recently found in Siberia, with blocks of granite up to 3,000 tons, who did it and why? At the time these buildings existed, that region was not cold but temperate, outside the Arctic region as your Antarctic continent was also green and farther from the geographic South Pole at the time. We're talking between 14 and 12 million years ago, around the time that the Black Knight of the Arcturians from Epsilon Boots satellite was transferred from a lunar base to Earth orbit. Since this satellite monitored and also monitors all subsequent changes in the crust of the planet and its people, those constructions were erected in now Siberia for protection and as power generation stations to colonies monitored by the Arcturians boots, settlers of the time. The protection would be against the reptilians' attacks attempting a forced colonization of the planet that was regarded by them as hunting area. If you continue the research at that site, will find great ancient underground facilities also exist in the region, as well as various artifacts of the time. Many silos with energy weapons are still scattered around the region, and remain impregnable through their force fields molecularly programmed in its raw materials. The people who lived there was part of the great union of societies of Atlantis, and was also relocated when reached level 1. The planet would remain zero for thousands of years yet, so it was no longer compatible with the sequence of development of these societies. The tectonic restructuring happened this time sank several cradles of civilizations, mainly Atlantis, Brasilis and Saxus which were scattered throughout various regions of the planet. All these towns are still submerged and so will be until some other tectonic changes, hopefully, bring them back to the surface as relics of a good old time that has occurred here on the planet. To give you an idea, they already had anti-gravity vehicles and tools and circled the planet on these machines. They just used clean energy therefore left the planet in good condition to you in sequence. The same cannot be said of you, as the planet will have to be recycled to eliminate everything that was thrown disrespectfully in nature, a thoughtless attempt at self-destruction of your biological balance as a whole. But, over 20% of you are no longer unaware of these facts, and want respect and balance. Since these will inherit the earth. You see my friends. Many hundreds of civilizations have passed the planet in the last 100 million years. You have to scientificize that you were chosen to compose chronologically the first society level 1, who will continue on the planet that coincidentally passed the level 1 in your generation. This is a milestone, a change in the age putting the planet on the map of planets that will participate in the collective development as brothers of all the planets level 1 of the Community Galactica. A friend asked, if the Community Galactica will not allow mass extermination, how they will deal with population growth? Well, I'll explain, you see, the planet Earth in the current context of pollution generated by your societies could not survive in terms of nature, with more than 600 million polluters. In the new phase to be started with access to new technologies, with energy in abundance, respect for natural resources, adequate climate control, your societies will no longer need to worry about this detail. In optimal technological conditions, the planet Earth could support 70 billion people without damage but only people from level 1, conscious and participants. But there is a point of equilibrium in all planetary societies. 
at any given time your society will naturally balance regardless of any action taken artificially. The balance can also be achieved by adding other colonies that you can implement on other planets, so life can be more interesting than you realize. Another friend asked, if we are on a planet of level 1 already, why you guys cannot get help? For example to eliminate some types of diseases and other maladies that afflict us now? Friends, the planet is adjusting the level 1 as it may, the problem is not the planet itself, but the people living in it. The 24% who will remain here have nothing to worry about, as the frequency of the planet is getting rid of spurious harmonics. The evils and diseases will dissipate naturally in societies. At the exact moment of transition you are going through, we cannot intervene because it does not officially have a planetary society actually brought on planet Earth. It may seem that we are not willing to help, but in fact we cannot get involved at this time with the adjustments caused by misconduct of your own society. The vast majority of your current ills were caused by you to yourself. The social liberation from poisoning manufactured by your elites will be the first step to start the eradication of many of today's ills. Our systems of body recovery work with genetic manipulation at the molecular level, it is not programmed for address the kinds of problems generated by various types of poisoning programmed to which you were subjected so far since childhood to old age. When we can get directly in touch with you socially speaking, our systems can be programmed to do so with all the variables involved, and many of you may be totally healed and restored to its original health. Hopefully it does not take long to happen. Many who consider us to be evil will have the opportunity to thank the new brothers during this new phase of development. Unfortunately for me, I can only give the tips I have given to you earlier because I would be severely warned if trying to be a sort of healer, without professional background to be. Many children already born at level 1 will have abnormalities of DNA that enable capabilities not known to you but this is normal development. Even with the harmonic misalignment in full, some of these phenomena are already happening in different societies on the planet. The human race will be walking from now on for the best. Friends, be aware that the tectonic changes are being awaited for the planet to rearrange, do not be concerned about the inevitable, try to be careful that your families may be the best possible. Just in the case of events near the geographical areas where you are right now. In these times you will all witness many strange things happening in your atmosphere, resulting from natural interactions of global change process, coupled with the precarious and retaliatory attempted manipulation of the atmosphere experienced by your governments. The nature will take the right course for the planet to recycle as a whole and it is ideal for present and future generation. This fact will make all of you to break ties with the current manipulators of the planet and acquire the right to form a more just society for all who will participate. Patience is a virtue inherent only to people more acquainted with the facts, understanding that nothing is an exact sequence but a union of connected events that can set the actual sequence of future events. The fate of a generation is designed by the sequence of events added to the timeline of that society, and where it can take you. Be well and in peace my friends.